name is Natasha Priya-Cannon. I am the Managing Director of In-House Recruitment, the largest and fastest growing community of in-house recruiters in the UK. I am joined today by the lovely Modiara Camp, who's EU Talent Attraction and Employer Branding at Amazon. Thank you very much for joining us. And if you'd like to introduce yourself and uh, tell us a little bit more about yourself, that would be wonderful. So yeah, thank you for um, welcoming me. Um, as you said, I'm looking after employee branding and talent attraction marketing at Amazon, um, where I'm, I'm responsible for the consumer org with a focus on tech. We live in a really consumer-led world right now, and there's a lot of digital noise, which um, after sort of today's current climate, I don't think it's going to reduce an impact. It's probably just going to, to increase. In this kind of environment and market, how do you stand out from the crowd against your competitors? First of all, it's it's really important to realize that people will will remember your brand based on how you treat your employees today, um, and every communication um, that is that goes out externally around that. So. Um, overall, you can distinguish yourself by being candidate driven, um, really thinking about what is the candidate expecting to see right now. And for example, in times of crisis, um, the nuances of the brand voice um, are more delicate than ever. So, you know, you see all these different initiatives and brands that use this time to be commercially um, exploitative. Um, I would I would say that they will not fare um well um because people they feel vulnerable right right now and i I think that showing empathy is critical in that um in general i would say the goal that i have from an employer brand perspective is that i would like to get people to spend time with my brand um and i think that that's also why um many companies spend time to create original content right now. Um, So sharing real and relevant content um, makes people want to spend time with your brand, right? Because engagement is kind of the combination between time and attention. And I, you know, I'm, I'm I'm fully aware that this is easy said than done. Um, But if you look at how we approach it right now or how we approached it for the last you know, few, uh, over the last few years, it's kind of connected with how we collect, uh, that we collect data and we do research to find out, you know, what the future talents are interested in or what our current, you know, um, employees are interested in. And uh, one of the examples is that we, um, you know, we found out that people want to know more about the working environment. So everybody started filming the offices and you have bean bags and ping pong tables and, and you know, everybody has an amazing office space all of a sudden, which is great. But this is not really how you can, you know, stand out um, from the crowd. So, you know, at the end of the day, if you ask me when it comes to how do you get that real content in? It is about capturing the emotion behind the answers. So, you know, data is really rational. And if you dig deeper um, and you start asking different questions, then you are able to get that real emotion. So if you ask a person, what do you like about your job? Then you get this kind of almost perfect polished answers like yeah I like the flexibility of my job or I have challenges in my job but if I ask you um, what why do you love your spouse then you won't answer yes um, I love the flexibility of my spouse you know that sounds really strange and it's also not um, you know the emotionally driven answer that you're looking for so I would say real content um, relevant content not only based on data but connected with emotion um, and that would be how I you know would say that you can um, stand out from the crowd <laughs>